Good morning my friends, welcome back to my channel, it's Belinda here. Happy Monday to you all. Time for the Deal It Up Challenge and we are getting so close to our full deck. So I'm just going to jump right in and shuffle our cards, pull the prompts and let's get going. Really excited to, I guess, complete our 52 cards plus the Joker. So I think this is the fourth to last so I think we've got three cards uh, to pull and then the last one's going to be the Joker. So four weeks before we've finished our 52 cards and then we'll be on to the new thing. Maybe. I shall have to just see. I still have not looked at the timing as to when. Obviously, yeah, four weeks we're going to be into December, definitely. Um, we might not be into the new one before the new year, but. Never say never. I, I just haven't worked it out. I've been too busy to work it out uh, how I'm going to time everything. So let's do a reveal once I've pulled all the prompts. So how was your weekend? Was it a good one? What was my weekend like? We had a long weekend, so it was long. <laughs> so Friday was a public holiday here, uh, just a regional holiday. It's Canterbury Anniversary Day is the particular day that it is, but we always call it Show Day because it's always the day that the Christchurch AMP show is on. Although this year it was actually cancelled. Um, so yeah, they were there was no show this year, but we still get the holiday because it's not actually about the show. It's about the Canterbury Anniversary. So we spent a lot of time watching TV. Mm, it was not nice weather. It was very cold. Uh, we had to light the fire. So the fire's been going all weekend. Um, yeah, quite miserable weather. So it didn't really invite you to go out and do anything. So we just watched a lot of TV. And I crafted. Of course I did. I, If I'm home and I'm at my desk, I'm going to be crafting. There's just no two ways about that, I'm afraid, my friends. So I seem to be going for the middle of the decks yet again. So was your weekend a bit more exciting than mine? I mean, it wasn't, a, don't get me wrong, it wasn't a bad weekend. It was actually really nice to have just a really low-key, laid-back. All we had to worry about is the next meal. That's pretty much all we were concerned with. It's like, oh, what are we going to have for lunch? Oh, what are we going to have for dinner? It's like, you know, big big choices to be made, my friends. Big choices. Okay, and look, how do you shuffle three cards? Let's take the top one and do the reveal. The Jack of Diamonds today. Okay, the alternate make is a belly band. And our creative prompts are numbers, monochrome, mm, okay, monochrome, and something made of glass. Okay, there's a picture of a vase. Okay, so let's grab out the base. And I'm going to stencil it first. I've chosen to go with this heart stencil today. And I've chosen purple as my colour for the back. So let's do that while I have a wee think here. Kind of work out where I want to go with this. So monochrome is kind of automatically making me think book page. You know, it's quite easy to do monochrome with book page. Um, I do actually have some green book pages, um, but I'm not sure what colour the text is. Because you can do any colour. It can just be like shades of, actually before I do that, I don't want to end up with this hard line. So we're going to just move it down something like that. Um, yeah, it doesn't have to be like black and white. Monochrome can actually be any colour that's just a single colour. Um, 
obviously like black and white as two colors really black if you call black and white colors um so i'm guessing monochrome could be green and white or blue and white or blue and black um i'm guessing yeah should actually look it up sometime that's just my kind of impression i've come to around that sort of thing so let's we haven't got a diamond so i don't need those stamps sadly because i lost it so we do need a j let's grab that out and red ink so we'll have to draw the the diamond in which is fine let's get that out of the way we don't need that anymore J there and a J, whoops, a little bit more ink I think, a J there. Right, I'll just put the J away before I lose him. Oops, and the Q wants to have a wee party and escape. Let's just wrangle them all onto the sheet. Oh, the nine's trying to run away as well. Gosh, they're naughty stamps, aren't they? No wonder I keep losing my stamps. I shouldn't say keep because I've actually only lost one, but it's an annoying one. Okay, red pen. Let's go with felt pen, I think. And just draw in some sort of diamond. I think it's the last diamond too. Trying to get even is not easy. Okay, I'm calling that done. Good enough. Okay, Jack of Diamonds. Time to flip it over and let's think monochrome. I do want to see if I've got the green book. I do, but it's got black text, so I think I'll go black and white. So we could, when I say black and white, we might be more sort of creamy coloured. Um, so we've got some beautiful music paper there. And some text, very similar colour. Normally I'd try and vary the colours a bit more, but I'm trying to keep them kind of the same-ish tone. Will this one work? That's a, quite a bit lighter. Um, although that's that's fine I'm going to make it work so that's probably all we need it's not a very big card so perhaps we'll start with this little scrap so we can um, just having a look it talks about tanks not too bad though although it mentions tanks it's um, it's not offensive not what I'd call something that's like oh you don't want that it's not that type of text so I think it'll be okay and there's a good chance it's going to end up covered over during the process so we shall just pop it on and I'll trim around the edge to get rid of the excess because I'm just laying it over the edge it's not quite long enough so let's a section of that and this is a Spanish whoops and I ended up making it too narrow so we're going to put it along the bottom instead just gluing off to the side my friends that's what you call adjusting as you go Whoops, I didn't make that wide enough. Okay, we'll just change where it goes. 
here. Press down. Okay. So I definitely want some of this beautiful music. So I might put that there. Do we want it upside down so that we haven't got a direction? I think so. Hopefully I've made this wide enough this time. And yes, we're all good. But we want it upside down, don't we? Yes, I do believe so. So I'm going to give that a torn edge. Mix so. So what colour are you going to choose for your monochrome? I'd be very interested to know. Are you going to go with a colour or are you going to go with what what we do, in all honesty, tend to think of as soon as we see the prompt monochrome. We, I would bet that most of us would tend to go straight away black and white. But it's not necessarily all about black and white. As I was saying, can be fun colour. Could be your favourite colour. Or if you want an extra challenge, it could be your least favourite colour. Right, could have put this sideways, but we're just going to pop it upside down. And I think I need to change out my glue page. Oh. Ran out of glue. It's down to the plastic. Need to wind it up. Okie dokie, lid on the glue stick while we're doing the next part, put the stencil away because we don't need that anymore. Let's do a little trim. So what's the week look like ahead for you? Is it, is it going to be a busy one? My um, counterpart at the food bank is away this week so not that it makes any difference because I do the work myself anyway. Um, she very rarely comes and um, what's the word I'm trying to say? Um, she leaves me to it basically and she'll come in and chat with me if there's something she needs to talk to me about or talk, a bit, talk over um, in terms of the food bank or personally. Um, but otherwise she just leaves me to get on with it and I get on with it. So her being away doesn't make any, have any effect on, on me. I just go there, do my thing as normal. Um, so it makes no difference. It's going to be a normal busy week for me I think. And then shopping day on Friday, grocery shopping day, which I'm already looking forward to. Um, it's just a day I get to go out really. <laughs> And do some shopping, even if it's groceries. I do enjoy grocery shopping, actually. Okay, so we've got monochrome. Something made of glass. Now, you could stick on something that's actually made of glass, like one of those little um, glass pebbles or something like that. But more than likely, you're going to want to put a picture on. So I need to find a picture of something glass. I also need numbers. There are actually numbers on the music paper, but I want some more numbers. So I'll grab out my stamp numbers. And I'm thinking this Christmas magazine here might be a good place to look for something made of glass. So let's hope we don't have to spend too long looking. Like there's a glass jar there of raspberry jam, or strawberry jam actually. Um, pull it across because you might be off camera. So that's an option. Shower, well that's a bit boring isn't it we don't really want to shout on our lovely card I think I prefer the jam um, but let's see if there's something really lovely given that it's a Christmas magazine there's always glasses as in drinking glasses there's a glass jug with implements in it just oh here's some jars 
a couple of jars of jam that's quite nice and Christmassy colours of course because it's a Christmas magazine but I'm thinking that might be a really lovely contrast with our black and white so I'm keeping my finger in there just having a quick lots of glass things actually glass baubles they're probably actually plastic but we could pretend they're glass Um, don't want to take too long so just a quick little if we see anything else that catches our eye it goes oh that would be good I haven't seen anything better yet there's windows you could put a window a picture of a window that would be made of glass for sure I'm all cabinet with glass in the window and the doors. That's kind of cool. But I think I'm going to go with the jam. Pretty certain. Okay, let's stop looking. Oops. And go with this picture. I think it's quite a good size too so it's got a glass bottle and two glass jars so that should fit the bill nicely so numbers do I want any specific numbers do I want generic numbers I was thinking I could turn it almost into a Christmas kind of journal card where do I want that? I think I need numbers to try and help compose. Actually, if I had a black bit of paper, I would quite like a black border. But I don't think I do have black. Um, have a quick wee flick through my bag of scraps and see if I've got any like black magazine paper. There's a bit of scrapbook paper with music on, but that's not what I'm after. Oh, what about this? It's not all black, but we could still use it as a border. Okay. I think I'm going to glue it on first and then cut out the paper around it. Cut or tear? What do you think, guys? Do you think I should tear it or cut it? If I'm going to tear it, I need to give myself a bit more space so I can tear the edges. Let's tear it, shall we? So I give it a bit more room so I've got room to get my fingers in and tear. Just give it a bit more interest, won't it? <clears throat> Excuse me, I'll just have a wee sip of my cup of tea. Which uh, bleh, is pretty cold. The good bit about tearing is that you can make it uneven. You don't have to worry about whether you've got the same amount on all the sides or whether it goes in and out. Kind of the whole point is you want it to go in and out you want it to look uneven which i find very helpful to randomize what i'm doing plus it's a cool look could keep those scraps but i'm not going to Okay, so that also increases the the footprint of our piece. Now, numbers. 
I might actually just kind of tip them out there because I'm looking for colour. So that one's got some black and red. That could be a nice one. Those are all different colours. Oops, just flipped the number somewhere. Don't know where it went. I'll probably find it tomorrow under the caster on my chair squished it's usually what happens here's a more plain kind of number in terms of color palette this red one it's quite nice actually it's red border and there's another one and another one okay that's probably enough to work with don't you think got a few options there let's just get these before I catch them all with my sleeve and ruin them all under my chair oh, the amount of times I find bits of paper that just kind of drift under and get rolled over and I'm, I roll forward or back in my chair and then I hear this crunch crunch and it's like what is it what have I just creased all up and distressed in a very accidental manner don't have to try hard to distress paper it just seems to happen naturally around here so we don't want both of these if we do use one so I'll just put one of them back so I'm using one of my favorite colors aren't I I think I'll put the plain one back because it's kind of just disappearing. I like that. I'm going to go with that. So let's glue this down first. Oh, I'm so excited to have almost a full deck of cards. I think it's, for those of you who have hung in, and have completed every card up to now and there's not many of you and that's perfectly fine um, it's I don't mind if you dip in and out or just even just do one of the 52 that that's fine I just appreciate that you're here and that you watch and that you comment I love that but for those of you who have stuck it in and done all the cards like my hats off to you guys you've You've been brilliant, and I absolutely adore seeing what you create every week. It just really does rock my boat. I really enjoy it. It really encourages me. I love seeing how you take the prompts and what you do with them. And beautiful, just every single one that the ones who are doing them make, they're just amazing. They are beautiful. So, thank you. There we go. And I, I'm going to use all three numbers. Because I just like the three. And there's three glass elements as well. You might have noticed. Just random numbers. Okay, so we now have everything that was prompted. So we have monochrome, we have numbers, and we have something made of glass. Um, I'm wondering, do I want, do I want something up here? I'm not sure that I do. I think the the balance that I find is quite good at the moment. So I'm going to not put anything else up here because I think it's just going to throw off the composition. So let's ink around it before I call it done. So that leaves two more cards plus the joker. So three in total left to do. Woohoo, that's, that's getting down to the wire. Ah, 
is very satisfying. I find it very satisfying. I hope you guys do too, whether you have made them or not, that you're happy to, to see them come to an end. Maybe it's because you're sick of them. I don't know. It might be. I know 52 is quite a long thing, isn't it? 53 by the time we do the Joker. Um, the video after we've done the next three cards, so after we've done the Joker, the video after that will be a flip through of the whole set of cards that I've made. So that will be probably like right before Christmas kind of thing. So there's our card. Now the other prompt is Belly Band. Um, I just don't feel in the mood for it today. I don't know why. But I'm not I'm just not feeling it guys. I was going to do it. I kept my stuff out to do it, but I'm just really not feeling it. So I'll leave that up to you. You can make a belly band for me. <laughs> How about that? Okay guys, thanks so much for joining me. Thank you for sticking with me through this challenge and I hope you're looking forward to what's coming very, very soon. Uh, take care and I'll be back again tomorrow with Trashcraft Tuesday. I'll catch you then. Bye for now.